Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Machado and we are here with another Grand Theft Audio V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more Grand Theft Audio V gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your add-on records inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Make sure that all your requirements is the latest version and the latest game version. Now this add-on vehicle mod is for any vehicle that is add-on. There is some vehicles that is different, some vehicles is manually, some vehicles are add-on, and some vehicles are OIV, and some vehicles uh, you can install it inside menu. So this one over here is for add-on only, so I've got a request from someone that they didn't know how to install add-on vehicles, and they are new. So if you know how to install add-on vehicles, then you can just skip this video. This video is for the newbies that doesn't know how to install add-on vehicles inside their Grand Theft Auto V folder. So let's get straight into it. Once you have downloaded and installed all of your requirements, then all you gotta do next is download this mod. I will leave this mod inside my description below. So make sure you download this mod. Now once you have completed that process, then we can get started. All you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now as you can see that I have already installed my requirements, so make sure you install your requirements as well. Head to your mods folder, go to your update folder, go to your time 64 folder, and then go inside your DRC packs folder. Now inside my DRC packs folder is completely empty because it's brand new. Yours might be different, okay? So all you gotta do now is open up your add-on record extract folder. Now there will be a couple of files or folders or text files, okay? So, uh, so find a folder that has DRC.RPF inside it. Once you have found a folder with DLC.RPF in it, then just only click on that folder and drag it inside your DLC packs folder. Now there should be a README inside the extract folder. Open up that README and now there should be a text line. So like a code, which is this one over here copy that DRC packs line and I exit out of your text file and exit out of your extract folder. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder and then open up your open IV. And then now once you have done that, go to your Grand Theft Auto V windows. Now this process will take a few seconds. It all depends on your PC performance. Once your application is open, go right up top on your right hand side and now select edit mode. Select yes. Then go to your mods folder, go to update folder, go to your update.rpf file and then go to common, go to data, then scroll right down the bottom until you see drclist.xml right click and then edit then scroll right down the bottom until you see the last item line then I click on the item next, next to this word item just click over here okay and now press enter once and then now press control and V and then paste your um, your mod code right there and then save it. Now go back to your DLC list.xml 
and double check to see if it's there yes and you always gotta double check it okay guys because sometimes it doesn't save sometimes it does but always double check now click on edit mode select your GTA V main directory exit out of your game folder and now all you guys gotta do next is just refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and we are back as Franklin so what we're gonna do is that we are going to spawn the vehicle straight away so you guys can see the vehicle so if you are using any other um, trainers then you can use any other trainers but I'm going to use our trainer V also known as simple trainer so all you gotta do to open up your simple trainer is go on your keyboard and press F3 now just scroll down to vehicle spawning over here then go right down the bottom to edit vehicle menu then you'll see your vehicle um, right there so there goes my one so this is where all of your add-on vehicles will be on your simple trainer but on other trainers it will be different okay so I'm going to spawn the vehicle and here it goes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and there goes your vehicle right there guys see so my vehicle is right over here and it's already been um, pimped up okay so this vehicle is awesome it's fully modified and yeah I really like it so you can do this to any other vehicle that you have added on to the uh, the game so so yes guys that's how you actually um, install your add-on vehicles so I hope you guys did enjoy it and I hope you guys um, did install your vehicles that you wanted and we're back again guys so I hope you did enjoy that but if you guys wanting to download that vehicle that I just spawned then I will leave that vehicle in some of the description below but if you have your own vehicles that you wanted to install and you guys needed help to install that vehicle then I'll be more than welcome to help you out so with that I said guys I hope you did enjoy the video if you guys did then smash that like button and subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V gaming content and live streams and I'll see you guys on my next video Thank you for watching, peace and I'm out.